This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. The Content Creator Beta Server is temporarily made available for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So I'm really excited about Professor X. He is about to enter the contest, and I'm going to give you a little preview. Now, you can look at Professor X's abilities uh, already in the game currently, even though he's not in the game yet. But we're going to go over them, and then I'm going to show you some gameplay, which is something that you can't get just yet. All right, so let's take a look at his attributes here. Uh, now, he is rank 3, SIG 200. Uh, that's what we used to get him at when we were getting granted into our accounts uh, the new champions. So I decided to put him up here. Now, take a look at his attributes. Now, one thing that stood out to me here was his block proficiency. It was actually much higher than I was expecting. So he has really good block proficiency. Um, armor rating, eh, not so much. Uh, got some critical rating, critical damage rating, but that block proficiency is what stood out uh, to me the most. Now, let's take a look at his synergies. Now, what I'd like to do with the synergies is look at who the synergy is with as well as what it does. So what it does, is it worth it to bring in who the synergy is with? That's what we're going to look at here. So he has a synergy with himself, Birthright. All mutants and X-Men, except for him, they're going to get 25% special attack damage for each Cerebro charge. And we're going to talk about those charges uh, when we look over his abilities. Um, he gets a max of 100%. So just having him on the team is going to make all mutants and X-Men better. So if there's an X-Men that's not a mutant, it's going to apply to them as well. Uh, first one here, Drug 1. All mutants and X-Men, you're going to see that pretty much all throughout, so I'm not going to keep on saying it. Uh, they get 18% poison resistance for each of those charges. It goes up to a max of 72%. And look who it's with. We've got Wolverine. He's newly into the contest as a five-star. We've got X-23, and we've got Colossus, who just got a rework. So I can really see myself bringing Colossus onto the team. Then we've got Habitat. That adds 15% prowess effect duration for each of those cerebral charges, max of 60%. You've got OG Storm, you've got Storm Pyramid X, and you got Emma Frost. Not bad. I don't see a lot of people wanting to bring OG Storm, but the other two, not bad to add to your team. All right, Drug L. We've got uh, once per fight. When a champion would be knocked out, immediately regenerate 7.5% of their max health for each of those charges, maximum of 30% health. So if you have 30 or 40 or 50, it's going to do 30%. Uh, that's going to be the max percentage that you're going to regenerate. That is huge. Now, look at who it's with, though. I see what they're doing here. So this is probably the most sought after useful synergy and look who it's with are you going to bring any of these uh cyclopses onto your team or phoenix is it worth having that cheat death you decide but i like that synergy i'm not a fan of who they have the synergy with then you've got this gateway Gain 3% of a bar of power every 10 seconds for each charge, max of 12%. You've got Beast, you've got Nightcrawler, and you've got Archangel. Now, out of those three, I think Nightcrawler is underrated, but Archangel is a beast. I can easily see a team with Archangel on it, all right? Easily. We've got Drug M, gain a mental barrier with 1.2% of current health for each charge, max of 4.8%. And what does that do? Whenever the champion would take damage, except from a special three, so that's special one, special two, um, regular attacks, the barrier takes 75% of the damage until it reaches zero health. So if you have a high health champion, this is gonna help them out even more. Very, very nice, okay? 
I like it. Now, who is this with? Magnetos and Iceman. Magnetos just got reworked, so I can definitely see a team with this Magneto on it. So right now, I can easily envision a team that has Red Magneto, Archangel, any one of these three if you just want to cheat death, because it really doesn't matter. Um, I could see Storm or Emma, Colossus. That is nice. So I actually like all but the cheat death one, but I like those synergies and the uh, synergy partners that he has. All right, so uh, the tags move. So let's go down here and look at the tag. So he is offensive burst champion. He's also a control champion. So if you're fighting with him in Alliance War and they have the defense tactic flow, he is perfect for that. He's a hero, he's medium size, and he is an X-Men. All right. Now, let's take a look at his abilities. Now, this first, uh, his signature ability, while below 75 channeling charges, we'll talk about that, uh, gain one charge per second while defending, this rate is doubled, and charges are gained for the entire fight. Gain up to 50% prowess potency, scaling with the opponent's power meter. That is reads as purely a defensive signature ability. So if you're playing him, he does not need to be awakened. That is my understanding. He does not need to be awakened uh, for offensive um, purposes because that seems to be a defensive signature ability. All right, mutation, always active. His first medium attack is the only basic attack that makes contact. All of Professor X's attacks deal energy damage. So he reminds me a little bit of Havoc, except that his first medium will make contact. So if you're fighting Electro or you're fighting uh, Korg, just remember that the first medium will make contact. So you might want to try to parry and then do light, light, light mediums and, and things like that. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. We'll play around with him, uh, maybe not in this video, uh, he's also immune to reverse controls due to his mastery over telepathy. Thank you. Uh, reverse controls is a mechanic that I really don't like. That really bothers me. And so I love seeing champions that are immune uh, to that particular mechanic. Now, this falter seems to be a very annoying thing if you're having to fight him. Uh, when he would be struck by a basic attack, he inflicts a, a falter passive causing 100% of the opponent's attacks to miss for two seconds. It has a 20 second cooldown, but starts on a 10 second cooldown. So we can see why he has low armor because he has a mechanic that makes him a little bit uh, defensive, okay? Um, even though he's a burst, that's gonna maybe compensate a little bit for, you know, not being able to take a hit as well as we might like, you know? Uh, when the opponent lands a special attack, Falter is removed and enters a cooldown. Avoiding an attack while dodging backwards during Falter's cooldown reduces the duration by one second. Now, we said we were gonna talk about the Cerebral Charges. You have a max of four that you can get. You start each quest with one. Uh, you will gain one every time you win a fight. So in a quest, you're going to be gaining, gaining these charges. Um, what they do is they increase the potency of his synergies. We read about that earlier. Okay. Very, very interesting. Now, here's this channeling that we were referencing before. Uh, he channels his telepathic abilities, gaining 10 channeling charges per second at the end of his special one and two and while charging his heavy attack. So you got three different ways to gain these channeling charges. Fire off your special one, two, or charge your heavy. When he's power burned or drained, he loses 50 channeling charges. So power drain uh, attackers uh, seem to be a good uh, counter to him. While at 25 plus channeling charges against non-tech, he cannot be evaded and gains a vigilant passive, allowing all attacks to bypass miss. Now, it says non-tech, so Ghost should still be safe. Her mechanics should still be safe. This is not an attack on Ghost. 
I was looking at that and I was like, oh, they better not be messing with my ghost. Uh, but while he's at 50 plus, using the fourth light attack inflicts mind control. And we're going to talk about this mind control because it's pretty awesome. Uh, on the opponent, when activating a special attack with 100, it automatically. So in other words, if you're at, say, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 99, you have to activate the mind control by using a fourth light attack. That's when it'll inflict. But if you go to 100, then it's automatically going to inflict, so you don't have to worry about it. So you can just channel passively, never have to touch them, and still inflict mind control. So there's a nice little um, versatility in uh, playing styles. One style, you can be aggressive, attack, get you know 50 or more, you know, under 100, and then do that fourth light attack, inflict the mind control. Or you can play passively and just keep charging your heavies up, get to 100, inflict the mind control, then go to town. Now, while you're channeling, completing and canceling, if you complete the channel or cancel by heavy attacking, remember you can do it by charging your heavy attack, uh, so you can charge it, and then if they get too close, you let it go, then you're going to gain 10 channeling charges. Okay? Um, cancel by blocking or using a light, medium, or special attack. You're going to gain prowess passive, increasing special attack damage by 40% for 36 seconds. That is huge. That's a lot of special attack damage. And that's a long time. 36 seconds is a long time. Uh, now, if you cancel by dashing backwards, you're going to refresh the duration of all prowess effects. That is nasty. Uh, that's going to take some getting used to. Uh, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing around with him. Uh, but so channeling, depending on how you stop channeling, either you complete it or cancel it by attacking heavy, you get plus 10. You either cancel it by blocking or using a light, medium, or special. You gain a buff that increases your special attack damage for 36 seconds. Or you cancel it by dashing backwards. If you already had prowess effects, it'll refresh them. Wow. Now, here's that mind control that we were talking about earlier. It lasts for half a second, 0.5, for every 10 channeling charges. So that's why you might want these channeling charges. The opponent is locked from gaining power. So he's got power control or using any of their special attacks. Even better. So they can't gain power. And if they have power enough for their special attack, they can't use their special attack. That is sweet. My control's duration is paused during Professor X's special attacks, except while channeling. Professor X's special attacks are unblockable and cost up to 70% less power based on the number of channeling charges reduced to 40% against text. That mind control looks wicked, okay? And finally, here are his special attacks. Um, special attack one, he gains 25 channeling charges. Special attack two, the last three hits deal a burst of energy damage, and that ability scales with special attack damage. Remember, you can get... 40% depending on how you cancel the channeling and then the special attack three you gain a prowess passive for each of those charges increasing uh, increasing special attack damage by 60% and lasting 40 seconds max of four stacks this guy looks exciting okay he looks really cool so let's play around with him a little bit and see how he works all right, let's go into Realm of Legends, and we're going to check out Professor X. I have not played with him at all, so you guys will get a chance to see uh, my first impressions. Let's see, grab him. Where are you? All right. So we're going to add him. We'll put in that Magneto uh, Synergy, put in AA, we'll put in the Colossus. I can see a team uh, that way, and 
We'll grab that. So let's see. Let's grab one of you. And let's see, 15. Yeah, we'll leave this one out. And let's jump into Realm of Legends. Let's see what he's like. I am very, very eager. So I'll go through his specials uh, so we can uh, take a look at each of his specials. And uh, then we'll mess around with him. I love how that starts. That's kind of epic right there. All right. He feels okay. Uh, let's fire off a special one. Okay. Woo! That dash back animation is awesome. Now, of course, we're not, you know, playing him the best way to play him or anything like that. We have no idea how to do that. I do love that dash back. Woo! That special two was legit. Got two prowesses up there. All right, let's build up to a special three. <laughs> that dash back, man. I'm, I'm a big fan. Let's do a heavy attack. All right, let's... Uh, let me charge that heavy up a little bit. All right. Special attack three. See what it looked like. Whew. Okay. And I'm at a special two already? What? Let's do that again. That's sweet. Let me see it up on a larger screen up here. Mm, mm. Okay. Okay. I like it. All right, let's do some heavy. All right. I held it too long. Ooh, look at that dash back, man. You see that falter. He faltered that attack. That was pretty cool. He seems really fun to play. Interesting. I wonder why he didn't throw his special. Hmm. That special too does a lot of damage. Look at the falters. <laughs> nice. All right, let's get to another special two. Whoopsie. All right, well, maybe that'll be it. Yeah, that's it. Well, that was interesting. That is kind of cool. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to rank him up real quick and max him out and we'll come back and play around with this winter soldier again so be right back all right so we're back you can see he's maxed out and i thought you guys might want to take a look at him uh all maxed out take a look at his attributes here at uh 565 so you can compare he got a little bit more block proficiency a little more armor rating as well as critical rating and critical damage rating all right, so let's go back into Realm of Legends now with a maxed out Professor X. And this time, let's have some fun with Winter Soldier. Now, I still don't know how best to play him or anything like that. Um, but that special too, I like that special too. So... 
first I'm gonna try building up to a special three. Alright. Play a little bit uh, better here. And that dash back is smooth. Look at that, man. The after image. So sweet. Okay, we want to build up these uh, channeling charges. Okay. Got 86 of them. 100. Look at that. All right. Let's fire off this special uh, three. We have a hundred of those channeling charges. And then let's see if we can work him over. Already at a special two. Woo! Another special two. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. I likes it. I likes it. Okay. See if we can't charge up again. All right. We're at a hundred. There's the mind control on him. Woo! Big boy damage. Another one. Woo! Tan him up. I like it. This the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Okay, let's build up some more of them channeling charges. Those seem very nice. All right. Channel some more. Let's hit him with a special two. Hmm. Probably should have stayed a little bit. Hard to get used to it. Here we go. Boom. He's at a hundred. Falter. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's see what this special two does to him. And it's over. Okay, there's a lot more to this guy than, uh, than we've seen here, but that's gonna do it for right now, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to play around with him a little bit more, but I like him. I actually like him pretty. It looks like he's going to be annoying on defense, but he's also kind of fun uh, to fight with. So, yeah, I, I I like him. Can't wait to pick up the uh, four star version of him. Uh, I have a feeling that the uh, five star is going to go too high for me to really want to uh, grind for. But he seems like a really cool champion, and I can't wait to see. Uh, what others discover about him, his best rotations and everything. But uh, from what I've seen, my first impressions are good. Uh, he's a really good champion. Uh, very nice addition to the contest. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what you think about Professor X. And you all have a blessed day.